This video guide will cover reading the configuration out of a ZP2 panel. The first step is to run the ZP2 PCC application by double-clicking the icon. Once PCC is running, and before you can use it, a confirmation is required that you are of a required standard to work on a fire alarm system, and are aware of the risks, confirm this window by clicking OK. To create a new project, click on the project banner at the top of the screen and select New. Give your new project a name, please bear in mind that the project name you use will be shown on the top line of the display of your ZP panel. Press OK, and then select Open. Your new project has now been created. To add a panel, click on the question mark of the correct panel number of which you are adding. Hover your cursor over the Add this panel option and all the panel variants available will be shown. The ZP2 panel variants listed are The Standard Panel The Fire Protection Panel The Standard Scandinavian Panel The Evacuation Panel The Scandinavian Fire Protection Panel And the Conventional ZP1 Panel In each panel variant you can select A one-loop panel A two-loop panel a standard repeater or the compact repeater. Select the panel variant that matches your panel. For our example we will use the standard 2-loop variant ZP2. This panel will now be added to the project tree on the left of the screen. Click on the arrow next to the panel to expand the configuration tree fully and select Communications from the list. Ensure the USB selection is selected. And plug your USB cable into the panel. And then click Connect. The PCC will now establish a connection to the ZP2 panel. When the connection is established, the Connect icon will change to Disconnect. You can now perform a read from the panel by selecting Read. Click to OK the overwrite message. Once the read is completed, click and save the configuration. If the panel added does not match with the panel you are connected to, then the PCC will display a fault event and show the incorrect option in your project that needs to be adjusted. These can be panel ID, panel type, loop protocol, and panel version. If any of these are reported, close the communication window. Go to your panel and change the parameter that was reported as incorrect and try to connect again. You may also experience a regional mode error that occurs right at the end of the read process. This can be fixed by going to the regional settings option and changing the regional mode to the one being used. Once you have made all the necessary commissioning changes to the panel, you can connect back to the panel and write the configuration into it.